Welcome to Medilab Soon YouTube channel. My name is Ushan Deshapriya. This video is about laboratory diagnosis of histoplasmosis. Actually, histoplasmosis is a fungal infection which is caused by histoplasma capsulatum. Histoplasma capsulatum is a dimorphic fungi, mainly found in soil enriched with the droppings of birds and bats. In the laboratory, we can use a lot of samples for diagnosis of histoplasmosis. Those are blood, urine, sputum, bone marrow, tissue strippings, and biopsy samples. Laboratory diagnosis we can be divided into mainly four parts. Those are direct microscopy examination, culture, serology and antigen detection. So let's see briefly about laboratory diagnosis. So if you like my channel, please subscribe my channel. In a direct microscopy examination, microscopy of smear of Pus and sputum should be stained by right and gives a procedure. Blood smear may be positive for histoplasma capsulatum, especially in patients with AIDS. Liver or lung biopsy stained with periodic acid shift, rocot, gomori, methanamine, silla may be provide rapid diagnosis of. Disseminated histoplasmosis in some patient. Uh, now you know about uh, direct microscopy examination. Let's say culture. Uh, actually, uh, specimen should be cultured on several takar at 24 30 Celsius to obtain mycelial pace. Mycelial pace developed within 1 2 weeks. Uh, but uh, culture should be retained for. Four weeks before discarding. Fungus is identified using their colonical morphology and the presence of characteristics macroconidia and mitochondria. Sensitivity and specificity vary according to the stage and form of disease. Highest for chronic pulmonary and disseminated, lowest for acute pulmonary and disseminated. In serology, we can use complement fixation test and we can use immunodiffusion. It has a high specificity and low sensitivity. And we can use ELISA technique. It has a high sensitivity and uh, when we compare to complement fixation test, it has low specificity. Uh, in ant antigen detection, we can use urine and serum samples. The most useful in patient with large fungal burden. So now you know about what are the laboratory diagnosis methods for diagnosis of histoplasmosis. So if you have a question or uh, what kind of video do you need next? Please comment below. So, thank you.